Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Panther. This is Amit and in this video we are going to talk about what are dynamic actions in Salesforce and how we can create or how we can design the pages which are very awesome or we can say the responsive for any user and they can only display or we say that they will only see the action which they need based on the criteria that we can specify we means an admin can specify over here so again dynamic actions are the actions unlike the dynamic dynamic forms that we have discussed where we can add the actions quickly from the lightning eye builder as well we can put the filters on the actions based on the certain criteria so before we go ahead please do like share subscribe the channel so that you don't miss any update from our channel now let's quickly see this dynamic actions in action so dynamic actions are basically supported for uh, all the objects we'll say that external uh, custom and standard objects as well and these actions will only be available like the filters will only be available on the actions for all the metadata above api version 48 that means whatever the api uh, whatever the metadata are there above 48 version that means starting from 49 the dynamic actions will be uh, Applicable for those lightning app builder pages. Now let's see here. We have got uh, in our fields in uh, in the system events itself. There is a field called resolution status. Okay. So what we wanted to have is we wanted to uh, hide this edit and clone button if the status of our system event is resolved. Otherwise, we wanted to have edit as well as clone button for the system event field. Okay. There are, I think, more buttons as a change owner, printable view, sharing. We are not bothering about these three buttons. Okay. What we'll do is just go ahead, right click on the gear icon on the top right, and then we'll edit the page. Again, it will take us to the Lightning App Builder page where, like we did in our previous video, upgrading the detail page to the dynamic forms. This time we are going to upgrade our highlight panel to the dynamic action. So how we will do is just select this top bar which is also known as highlight panel you see here this is the highlight panel and you can see here we have got a dynamic action upgrade so just go ahead say that okay let me upgrade this action so we'll say that we are going to migrate you can also start from scratch next year select whatever page layout you have and finish it now as soon as you migrate here you have got the ability to control all your actions from here you can see here so let's say that i'm going to remove this post file link poll we are going to have edit delete clone we are going to hide this few of the buttons uh, change record type we are not going to have that but we don't have any record type print table view and get alerts okay so these are the actions that we have got okay now how many actions you wanted to see over here suppose that you wanted to see five action you can put five here you will see five action on that dynamic uh, on your highlight panel now what we said is if you go to field section under the resolution status we said if resolution status equal to resolve then hide edit and clone button okay what we'll do is we'll select highlight panel we'll go to edit we'll say that edit Add filter basically for edit button. We'll say that record, and here we'll say that resolution status. We'll say that if not equal to resolve, that means if this condition is true, then only display the edit button. We'll say that done, and then we will done. For edit, we have put the filter. Similarly, for the clone, we are going to put the filter again. We will say that a resolution. Okay, resolution status. We'll say that equal. Uh, what happened here? Yeah, equal to. Okay, is it resolution status? Uh, let's close this again, and we'll again get back to our buttons. Clone, and we'll say add filter. We'll go here. It is resolution status. It will equal, and we'll got resolve and not equals to. So not equal to resolve, then only display these two buttons. Okay. Just go ahead and save this. This might ask for the activation because again we have changed this record detail page. Uh, but as we did in the previous, it will it might not ask. As you see, it didn't ask. So we'll just go ahead, save it. We'll get back to our uh, 
screen our record detail page where we will see the axles will already be visible for us the reason is that the status is blank so you see here edit okay let me reset it yeah you see here edit and clone button are already there we will go to field section and we will edit it the resolution status field and we'll select any of those let's say that resolve save it and you can see here okay delete but okay yeah clone and edit button has been deleted it has been like has been hidden here as per the filter if you again go to the resolved you say that in process you will see here now we have got edit and clone button so this is a very simple example for you to how you can use a dynamic action sometimes you can also have suppose that you are kind of running a business uh, which is or uh, sending or we'll say that uh, a school business where you are having some students and there is a checkbox on the uh, object which is saying that uh, a passport copy required if that is true you can show a button called request passport copy if that is false you can hide that button so these are the few examples that i have seen and uh, these are very good example and again this uh, dynamic action is also very important uh, things and it is uh, most of the businesses have started using this but again this is the beta version which means it has the uh, high quality features uh, but we, we are not sure if this is going to be is available for the coming releases or not or this may also be generally available or become generally available for us so this is it for this video and uh, hope you have got to learn uh, something new and uh, thank you for your time we will meet you into the next videos where we are going to talk about some scenarios related to 